Okay, so today we will quickly be creating an app that scans a barcode, QR code, and some other codes. So uh, I'll be using a library for that, and this is the library that we'll be using. So I'll have this dependency and this uh, URL in the description section below. So if you want, you can check it out. Okay, so let's just copy this and jump right into the code. Okay, so first we need this dependency here. All right. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Okay, let me just copy it here. Okay, let's sync now. Okay, so okay, it is complete now. Let's create a, a layout file. So we just go here, create a new real layout resource file, and let's just call it main activity. And this is the activity that will be showing the you know camera and uh, camera so that we can scan the code so let me just go over here and just copy and paste from this thing basically this is pretty simple it just works you just copy you can just check out this website and copy this these things from here so i just paste it here and i'll just go over what this is now this autofocus button color is you know you want autofocus to be enabled or disabled so, so since the autofocus button is visible, then you can get to set color here. And then similarly for flash buttons and the frame colors, corner size. Oh yeah, this is the autofocus button and this is the flash button. So if you remove this, set it to false, this, these will not be visible. And so these are just the frame, say, frame size, frame thickness. Now this is the frame, all right. And the frame color is white, as you can see here, these are white. Okay, so yeah this is the mask color now if i change this let's make it to red as you can see the mask becomes red okay all right so now once you have copy pasted this we need to create a new java class let's call this main activity all right and we will extend app compat activity here okay so now here again you can copy the code from here but one thing you'll have to add is uh, add to this is uh, you know if you want to run this on phone that has greater than marshmallow or api that is greater than 23 that is most of the phones these days this will not work out of the box so first let me just copy uh, copy this all right now let me just paste it here now what what this code is doing is let me just first you know Hit, you can hit alt and enter to import these things so i hit alt enter okay my bad i pressed the wrong button let's alt enter alt enter again so you know let's just import all these things first okay and if you don't know the shortcut shortcut to doing this is alt enter okay Okay, so I think everything is important except this view here. Yeah, all right. Now, our layout's name is main activity. And we need an instance of code scanner here. Okay, so yeah. And this activity is the instance of current activity. So we'll call this main activity dot this, not just activity main activity dot this all right so yeah the code is clean now but what we want to do is uh first we want to check if our phone has you know uh android version greater than marshmallow so to do that what we can do is uh first we check if build dot version codes dot stk int Okay, why am I doing wrong here? Okay, it's not version code, it's just version dot stk int is greater than or equal to 23. If so, what we need to do is we need to ask for permission, otherwise this will not work. So if this is true, first we check if we already have the camera permission or not, because you know we need a camera permission for that. So we check self permission and the permission is the camera permission right 
okay and if the counter permission is not equal to package manager dot granted permission granted if the permission is not granted what do we do we ask for the permission so how do you ask for the permission first we need to define a string array here so let's just call it string permissions and we need to have camera permission here you can have more permissions here in the area according to your requirement so so what do we do is if this is uh, not granted we just ask for the permission we go request permission and here we send the area of permission that we send that we want and then we want to request code let's call it 2002 all right this is the request code we'll be checking in our you know permission permission uh, result granted so that we can check if this uh, permission request was sent by us or not okay so let me just move this to a method called else start scanner all right so i'll just call this scat scanner and let's just create method start scanner and i'll just paste all those things inside this scat stand start scanner method all right scanner view where is scanner view okay yeah we need to make this global all right here we go now now what we need to do is yeah we can remove this from on resume because if we do this then it will crash in your initial thing because you know permissions might not be granted and so you know we cannot resume also we will check here if this m code scanner is not null you know in java you gotta do some null checking because if it's null then you'll uh, get an error all right so what we do here is we have requested for the permissions and if the permissions are not required we start the scanner okay here also if the permissions are already granted we start the scanner all right now we just need to check if the permissions are granted so what happens is you ask for permissions here and once the permission is granted or not granted if it is not granted you say you know i need the permissions and if it is granted you just say start scanner again so for that we need to override a method shortcut is control o i just entered control o and you go on request what was it R Q U E S T on request result or something on request permission results yeah this is it on request permission results so here what we need to do is we need to check if the request code is the request code that we sent 2002 you know you can have different permissions here and with different request codes so for now we want to you know our result in interest is of the request code 2002 so we check if request code is 2002 and if it is so what we want to do is we want to check if now the permission results are in this thing grand results if you have since we only have one thing here this is also an array this is uh, this will all just have the result of one permission if we had multiple this will have the result of multiple permissions all right so at the moment we only have one, one permission so what happens is we want to access the first item so it's in the syntax zero so we check if this equals to permission granted it's not this it's package manager dot permission granted if this is the case what we want to do is we just want to start scanner right if this is not the case we say let's just give a toast message at the moment to so start make test and it is main activity dot this comma uh, what do we want to say let's say i need camera per missions okay and let's show it for a long duration okay so here we go now our code is complete let me just okay we need one more thing if we can figure out figure out what it what it is that'll be great but you know i'll just go through it so first of all 
we need our permissions array here we need the code scanner instance here and our cam scanner view instance here and then we you know let's add the references and then we check if our android version is more than greater than 23 that is greater than marshmallow if so we need to ask for permissions so if this is true we check if the permission is already granted or not all right if it is not granted then we ask for permission if it is granted then we start our scanner process else if it is less than 23 we just start the scanner right away and then this is the on request permission result all right and this is the start scanner thing so you know this is we are just initializing our code scanner and then we are doing set decode callback here now this is where you get the result all right so we are just making uh, you know after the decoding is complete we are just showing a toast of this thing now you can do this uh, you can take this and do anything you want not just show a toast here all right and here we are doing start previews here so once everything is done here the scanner view will be visible but it will be visible like this you know it will not be using the camera so what you need to do is you need to set on click listener and on click you start the preview all right so so when you tap on this thing the preview will be started all right you can move this start preview outside to you know start the camera automatically all right now and yeah, this is it if you all right, all right one more thing uh, the permission is not there so you need to add this permission in your manifest and if this video helped you just hit subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and if you have any queries let me know in the comment section below